I looked up the translation right before I got here because I had it a little off. This is um, a quotation from Hadler Locksmith, and it's Icelandic, and it, it's along the lines of, whoever doesn't live in poetry cannot survive here on earth. This is um, brand new. Uh, I wrote it last week. It's still in process, and um, so you'll be able to tell that. It's called Open Under Brave. Under water there is no breath, but death. Underfoot underwater, a grinding soft crunch of granules, but mostly silence of infinite ocean breath. And the green safety, tinged golden brown, brighter overhead, of being held, completely all skin touched by cold, by salt, sanctuary, bed of celebration. Fet free drifting, though knowing ocean holds beyond this enclosure, other colder oceans, wider, deeper, wilder, flow through throat, through olfactory corridors, from, to, of ocean, nostrils tanged with marination, mouth a colossal, oh, Swallow safety, drink sanctuary into belly hold, brine the brain, ocean the blood, soak orifices, allow metaphor of flow, allow swallows of ocean. While the kind-faced man speaks in his brown-tinged golden voice of the inception of bravery, she remembers her dog-paddling churn, terrified and eager, behind her smooth, crawl-stroking family, to the neighbor's raft, bobbing in the dark water of the bay, waves cold and salty, smacking her again and again, rhythmically. But her counting had not grown up yet, and her inner clock failed again and again, so the slosh assaulted her at each breath. She swam without her glasses, more at sea for the lack of crisp edges to waves and floats and family. Her imagination concocting more sinister fish than have ever slid through this bay, lurking tiger sharks, entangling eelgrass, ugly, silent creatures, and as all sea waters connect, her skinny limbs and tubby torso were surrounded just as those menaces hidden there where the golden brown bled into unlit depths. <coughs> Just when she sees this is how she learned to be brave, the man quotes his student's conclusion, I learned to be brave. She and the man sit warm in a quaint cafe of mismatched tables, an enormous pale brown tile fireplace, muntin windows for walls, shelves of curios and poetry chapbooks lit by old incandescent bulbs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.